Amen. We thank him today, amen, because Jesus is the mountain. Amen. And we can always hide behind him. Amen. Amen. Did y'all come in to have a good time today? Amen. We come here to lift up his holy name because God has been good to us. He's been better to us than all of us truly deserve. Amen. And we thank him for that. Amen. We thank him for that. At this time, we'll have our scripture reading by Minister Beatty and our prayer by Minister Alexandra. Amen. Scripture reading this morning will be coming from 1 John 5, beginning with the first verse. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. Amen. Let every heart pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. We come just to bless your name, Father. Father, we thank you for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. And Lord, we just want to give you praise, honor, and glory today, God. We just welcome your Holy Spirit in this place. We ask, God, that you just set this atmosphere that we can give you the praise that is due unto you. You said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. So, Lord, open up our hearts that we may receive what you have for us today. We pray, God, that you strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're torn down. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit, God. If ever a time we need you, Lord, we need you right now. Some need you for one thing, God, and some need you for another. You said in your word that you won't leave us and you won't forsake us. You're that present help in the time of trouble. Lord, you came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Let us know, God, that no weapon formed will prosper and every tongue that rise up against us will be condemned. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Lord, so we need you to be our peace, our hope, our joy, our strength today, God. Lord, we need you to just, if anyone is weary and well-doing or or heavy burden on them, God, lift that burden up off them, God. Then strengthen them, God, where they're weak. Father God, we thank you for being our awesome God, mighty God. We thank you for being our rock. We thank you for being our shelter. We ask that you shut doors that need to be shut and open doors that need to be opened. Lord, we pray that you bless your people here. Bless every family that's represented here today. And Lord, comfort the moan, God, the ones that's been through, God. We know that you are able to do all things but fail. And, Lord, we pray that you anoint the pastor afresh this morning that's going to break the bread of life. Use him for your glory. Let him him use his gift, God. And, Lord, let him uh, give you all the honor and all the glory. Strengthen him, God, that you will pour into him, that he will pour out to us. In the name of Jesus, remember the sick and the prison bound. And remember the ones that's on their way. And we'll be so careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Sometimes we have to go by ourselves, amen? amen? Amen. Again, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you. Amen. And happy birthdays and anniversaries to those who are celebrating, amen? Continue praying for those that's on our healing list, those, amen, who may be uh, shut in, those who may be in the hospital or just going through, amen? amen. Continue amen. lifting them up in prayer, amen? And also continue praying for the bereaved families, amen? amen. Continue praying for the Gillum family, amen? Brother Gene Gillum. Homegoing service was on yesterday, amen. 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 So continue lifting his wife and his children, his grandchild, amen, his mother, brothers and sister, amen, amen. Yeah. cousins, aunts and uncles, amen. We uh, keep the Gillum family in your prayer, amen. 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 We always talk about, amen, how we never know, amen. Because I do believe if we knew, many of us would wait till the last minute to get saved, amen. 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 But we don't know when he's coming back for us. But one day he's coming back for us. Amen. And we have to be ready. Amen. Amen. So continue praying for the Gillum family and all bereaved families. Amen. Again, uh, uh, Miss Janice, amen, did a wonderful job with taking pictures of different uh, uh, apparel, the team apparel on last Sunday. It looked real nice on Facebook. Amen. Uh, one of my buddies said, Rev, I can't believe you let them wear all that Pittsburgh stuff in that church. <laughs> Amen, amen. But I had to amen. remind them, God told us to love everybody. Amen. 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 But but the pictures were wonderful. Amen. And we thank you all for participating. And that's what it's all about. Amen. You know, we you can have fun serving the Lord. Amen. 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 And I say it all jokingly. Amen. But I don't care who you pull for. I don't think I care about is that your soul is saved. Amen. 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 Continue. Amen. Not only those on the hidden list, but I ask you all to continue. Uh, lifting me up in prayer. Amen. I've been having it rough. Y'all know I don't talk about it. But I have. Amen. And I'm having, I don't know if it's the effects of the wreck or what. Amen. But I'm I'm having it rough. I ain't telling y'all no story. Amen. I, I, my shoulders feel like they're on fire half the time. Amen. 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 Neck hurts. Back hurt. Uh, one of our wonderful trustees made a joke. Rib, you going to say you carry in the church, but that ain't what it is. <laughs> <laughs> amen. That ain't the church ain't uh, don't hurt that bad to carry. Amen. Amen. But y'all continue praying for me. Amen. I'm supposed to go see a specialist real soon, so y'all y'all pray for me. Amen. But today, Amen. And as I see his wife here, Amen. His brother, Amen. Uh, none other than Reverend Julius Boot Gilliam. Amen. Amen. It's going to stand today, amen, and yesterday, amen, they uh, had their, his brother's home going, and I asked Reverend Boot, amen, was he going to stand this morning, but I tell y'all, when we do lose a loved one, amen, on this side, amen, we still have to do the work of the Lord, 
Amen. Amen. I've seen too many times, amen, somebody lose a loved one, amen, and they take a hiatus from church. But one thing I know, amen, is that that's the person I need the most when I lose somebody that's close to me. Because he said he'd be a friend that stick closer than a brother. Amen. Amen. And he said in his word that he'd be a father to the fatherless. And I always tell people, can't nobody fear that void but the Lord. And too many times, amen, I didn't mean to say all this, we turn to the wrong thing. Amen. amen. A lot of people go to alcohol, they go to drugs, they, we got to go to the Lord. Because the Lord is the only one that can help us. Amen. And all of us in here have lost somebody that's close to us. Amen. 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 And can't nobody help you but the Lord. Amen. amen. But again, amen, a man, amen, who's a friendly man, amen. a man who is good with his hands. Amen. amen. He's a carpenter. Boot can build about anything. Amen. Amen. But God has also laid a word on his heart. Amen. And I see again, amen, his lovely wife, Miss Doris, is here with him. Amen. I see his brother, Paul. Amen. Amen. So again, amen. After the choir blesses us, amen, the next voice you will hear will be our Reverend, oh, our very own, I'm sorry, Minister Julius Boot Gilliam. Amen. Give him some love.
people out there that know that God is able yeah. to carry you through. Yeah. But do y'all remember there's a these little packages that they used to come out with that had different Bible verses and stuff on or story told and had one with an entitled Footprints. Mm -hmm. And then it was talking about there was two sets of footprints mm -hmm. in the sand. And then it got down to the point that they, they only saw one time, one set of footprints in the same. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, the question was asked by the guy, said, Lord, you said you'll never leave me nor forsake me, but I only see one set of footprints in the same. Mm -hmm. I guess he thought it was a, his footprint. Yeah. And that's when Jesus told him, said, no, that's when I was carrying you. <laughs> so whatever you're going through, God is able to carry you through. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this day because it's the day that thou have made. And you said for us to rejoice therein. And we're thankful for the opportunity just to come out and worship you. Because you are the creator. You're the sustainer of life. You are the one that made the heaven, the moon, the stars, and, and all the galaxy. And we thank you for the attributes that you have displayed in our life. Because you have been gracious, you've been merciful, kind, generous. You've been patient with us, meekness. You've given us love. You've given us grace. You gave us all things that pertain to prosperity, health, and strength. Yes. And we have to look to the hill which cometh our help, and all our help cometh all from the Lord. Yes. We thank you thank for you. this thank church, you. and not only this church, but all churches throughout the land and country. Oh, yes. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 To my pastor, Pastor Surratt, God bless you. <laughs> First Lady, and the children, God bless and keep y'all, and may heaven smile upon you. To my wife, Doris, and to Sister Kern, to my brother Paul, to the deacon, the trustee, the officers of this church, and to each and every one of you that's under the sign of my weak voice, I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Oh, yeah. Um, I know that we are living in trying time. Mm -hmm. We're living where people are practicing social discipline. Mm -hmm. But don't you think it's very funny that how we could celebrate last week the different teams that were represented? Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's like my brother Paul. He would have been another one of them Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care if some of the, I see some Washington Redskins out there. Well, Washington now they call them. And it might be some Carolina Panthers or whatever your team may be. Mm -hmm. 
people who, and people have the tendency now, since they're supposed to be practicing safe social discipline, they still go to games. Mm -hmm. And the games are packed. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the people there are not practicing social discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, I realize that even in doing that, they don't have the mask on, they're not staying six foot apart. But they're still not practicing social discipline, even when they're driving in cars. Mm -hmm. Have anybody ran up on your bumper lately? Mm -hmm. I can't stand it. <laughs> I mean, even the driving code say that you're supposed to remain, what? One car oh, per yeah. every 10 mile per hour you travel. Mm -hmm. People don't do it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to God, Come on. we Come put on. him on the back burner. We are taking say that this time, you know, you can go to a football game and they there, they'll stay maybe even in the midst of the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they won't come out to the house of God. But that ain't what the word of God says. The word of God says, draw nigh to him and he'll draw nigh to you. Yeah. And it even tell you that the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. that was put up on that post way back before the children of Israel, Israelite was coming out, because he was the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I just don't understand something of a, uh, I see Sister Kern's uh, husband one time preached a sermon. What if God hated church? It told about, he told about how sometime the music that people play, God didn't want to hear. The song that they were singing, he didn't want to hear. Uh, uh, they were bringing the money, he didn't want the money. Because after all, I read that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And even we that dwell therein. Amen. So we spoke in all our ways. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I thought I had this thing down. That's all right, Richard. That's all right. It's going to be off now. <laughs> uh, our text will be coming from the book of Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Verses 1 through 13. And it reads as follows. Though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels and have not, I'm going to substitute the word love for charity because that's what it means. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am to come as a sounding grass or a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profit me nothing. Love suffered long and is kind. Love envied not. Love vaulted not itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemly. Seek not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinking no evil. Rejoicing not in iniquity, but rejoice in truth. Bears all things. Believe it all things. Hope it all things. Endure all things. Love never fails, but whether there be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongue, they will cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, mm -hmm. but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. 
When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see through a glass darkly. But then, face to face, now I know in part, then shall I be known, even as I also am known. And now about it, faith, hope, charity, uh, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Amen. Amen. I would like to speak on the subject of face to face. You know, there's a lot of ways to communicate with a person. It used to be a time when you could write them a letter. But now, they text. There used to be a time when people uh, will go to a person and see them in person. But now they'll put it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. There used to be a time when people could maybe write in shorthand or different ways of communicating. But to me, it always was best when I saw that person face to face. It was told me that the eyes is like the mirror of the soul. Therefore, it's different. How many times can you recognize somebody now that they're going around looking basically like, I guess you say the Long Ranger or something with masses on and, and the only thing you basically can see is just their eyes. There's some people that came up to me and spoke to me and so, and when they left, I turned around and asked, asked somebody, brother, brother Surratt said, who was that? <laughs> I just didn't recognize them. Or for some time, we may have gained weight or lost weight or done something, but it's something about seeing a person face to face that make you feel better. Amen. Uh, uh, after all, I think that was the original plan God had for me. After all, he, he, he liked it to communicate with Adam and say in the heat of the day. Yes. It's like they taking a stroll, I guess, together. But after man sinned, the separation came. So it ain't the first time that we practice social distance. Because sin separated us from God. And therefore, it, we needed a, a savior, somebody to, to redeem us back, somebody to buy us back to God. Right. And that came in the form of Jesus Christ. Yeah. After all that time, you know, people was looking for a savior. They thought he would go come in and deliver them uh, from the persecution they were going through with a mighty sword or something. But he didn't come like they appeared. Amen. I tell people right now, we, we, we need to get our act together. Amen. How can they say they love God whom they never seen and they hate their fellow man whom they see every day? He say you are lying and the truth is not in you. Uh, uh, we ought to love everybody. You might not like what that person's doing, but you still spoke to love them. You know, after all, it said God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten right. son. So even in a time like this, I said, Lord, if God was in heaven looking down on Jesus when he going through uh, all the stuff he went through for us, then in a time like this, we got to look to that hill Amen. and say, Lord, if you did, we can do it also. Amen. After all, we are God's people. Amen. I'm not in this by myself. Mm -hmm. And you're not in this by yourself. Amen. And it's not about me. Oh. And it's not about you. Mm -hmm. But it's all about him. Amen. You know, even if we look at the part where we say that the eye can't say that it's the body. Nor the foot can't say it's the body. It all goes on down. They talked about the different parts of the body. And I was thinking so much about this a couple of weeks ago when the pastor preached uh, the dry bones. 
Amen. You know, yeah, those bones was dry. Mm -hmm. And they were scattered. Right. But they came together. And I had never seen nobody ethically put together like Pastor Sorrell. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. But you know, even after them bones came together, mm -hmm. probably maybe touching and agreeing, they were still just bones. Mm -hmm. But you look at it until God breathed in them. And then they became a living soul. Yeah. Job put it a little differently. Job said, if a man die, shall he live again? Mm -hmm. Thou know it, Lord. If you cut down a tree, it'll come back up sometime. Amen. So in going through this life as we know it, we got to depend on each other. Amen. One body part needs the other part. And then, therefore, I need you, and you need me. Amen. If one of us hurt, one part hurt, the whole body hurt. Amen. I don't care if it's something as small as a, 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 a splinter or, or maybe a bride to get in your finger. Mm -hmm. You don't feel no better until you get it out. Amen. You know, and then we come down to this text. This was a letter that was written by Paul mm -hmm. uh, to the church at Corinth. Yeah. They had some problems going on there. Uh, the problem was that they was believing that when Christ died, they died. When Christ got up, they got up. Mm -hmm. uh, so Paul was writing this letter there to clarify the fact. And then he even went on. He said, Nothing. I don't care trials and tribulations or height or whatever going on in your life. Nothing going to separate you from the love of God. Amen. Thank you, Nothing. I mean, even if you make your bed in hell, he is there. If you take the wing of a dove and fly up to the utmost part, he is there. God is always going to be there. He gonna be there when you need him most. Yeah. And then just because you need him then, you gonna need him again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so he went on to say uh, in this text that, Lord oh, help me Jesus. Help me, Lord. Although he had the tongue some people were going around and saying, you know, I have the gift of prophecy. And another one might say, well, I have the gift of tongue. Another one would say, I have the gift of giving. And that is good. But we've got to do more than that. Because out of all the stuff they're going through, you still got to have love. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, yes, the faith that you have. And we often say, Lord, give me a little more faith. Yeah. And we do need a little more faith. But that ain't, he's telling you in his word not to stop with that faith that you had. He said because you are supposed to add to it. And you're supposed to add to your faith, patience. And let it run its course. It's just like uh, in school, we say one and one is two. But sometimes you put one and one together, it's 11. And that's the way it should be with everything. You add to your faith, add to your patience. Life itself is a growth process. Yes. The question is asked, what makes the flower grow more? Mm -hmm. The rain or the sunshine? Mm -hmm. It needs both. Well, and right. the same thing with us. Mm -hmm. We need everything that the Lord has been given us. Amen. He said, now I give you everything pertaining to health and strength and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We know we got that. Mm -hmm. But then, is you passing it on to someone? Mm -hmm. uh, love is not just love. You mm -hmm. ain't loving. Amen. You got to love. It's an action. Mm -hmm. It's an action word. You Amen. got to keep on doing it. Love those even that hate you. Amen. Love those that despitefully use you and say all yeah. oh, manner against you evil for my name's sake. Yes. We have the tendency to point our finger at someone. Mm -hmm. 
not realizing there's something putting back at us. You know, and then what would Jesus, if, what would it be like today if Jesus was to walk through those doors? Come on, preacher. Uh, the women folk probably say, look at him. He need a haircut. <laughs> he need a shave. You know, and not only that, uh, uh, what kind of automobile is he driving? <laughs> he don't, he don't have a car. Yeah, Matter of fact, he's been going around borrowing boats from people. Or uh, uh, either he rode in on a donkey. Yeah, he yeah. said, I don't have a house. Mm -hmm. But the whole world was here. Mm -hmm. And he came from heaven. The Lord is set down for us. Amen. That he could see what is like. Mm -hmm. He even prayed for us mm -hmm. in the Garden of Gethsemane. When he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it should be with us. Mm -hmm. We have the prop problem of forgiving somebody. Oh, they'll, yeah. they'll say, I forgive you, but I ain't forget it. Oh, but he, he don't look at us like that. Yeah. He'll say, I can't cast it into the sea of forgiveness, and I won't even bring it up no more. Not even in a dying hour. Shouldn't we not be the same? It said, let this man of Christ be in you. And that's what we should do. We should we, we even had this thing that time called WWJD. What would Jesus do? Yeah. I didn't even go for that. I put on there, what did Jesus do? Amen. What DJD? And not only that, we come up and we, we talk about people right now. Some people probably watching on Facebook, but if they didn't, if, you, if something happened in this church, they probably know about it before you get back to your, Amen. your house. Amen. But when it comes down to that point, yeah. when it say the way I would like to communicate face to face, he said that when this body that we know of, this corruptible body would take on incorruption, this mortal will take on immortality. He said, then I'll be known as I am known. Mm -hmm. How many people out there think they know me? Mm -hmm. All of y'all probably say they do. Mm -hmm. My brother Paul probably say he know me. Mm -hmm. Marge and my wife Doris say they probably say they know me. Mm -hmm. But I'm black Paul. I find myself doing some things that I should not do. Amen. I find myself maybe being somewhere where people think I shouldn't be. Amen. But it's not for them because they did Jesus the same way. Yeah. Say, so look at your master over mm -hmm. He hanging out with those wine bibbers and those old right. ones. Yes, but if it ain't them, it might be you. <laughs> so whatever we doing, let's have the heart, the compassion, the love Amen. that Jesus showed all of us. Amen. For yet, while we are sinners, mm -hmm. God loved us. Amen. How many times we sing songs mm -hmm. that are even not the truth? We'll say, how great thou art, and we don't even know it. Because it tells us in the word, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. What the Lord have in store for them that love him according Amen. to his purpose Amen. and his will. So as we go through life, mm -hmm. let's try to strive to do things better. Amen. Let's do it God's way. Amen. And stop Amen. leaning to our own understanding. Because he tells us our ways are not his way. Yes. Our yes. thoughts are yes. not his yes. thoughts. Yes. As far as the east is from the west. Mm -hmm. So from now on, when you read your Bible, study your Bible, mm -hmm. meditating on his word, yeah. don't even just be a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the Amen. word. Amen. I'm not going to stand before you long. Come on, I just gave what the Lord gave me mm -hmm. to the one he wanted to hear. Amen. God bless and keep every one of you. Amen. Give God.
God another hand clap of praise. Amen. For Minister Boot. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Amen. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me in such a spare That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, thank you for what our ears have heard today. Knowing, God, that we can do a lot of things. But if we don't have the love of you in our heart, God, we're doing it in vain. Father God, Lord, we pray that we as your people, God, that we get more love in our heart. For as the preacher said, God, how can we say we love you whom we have not seen? And can't love our fellow man whom we see every day. God, we can't pick and choose who we gonna love. Because God, you told us to love our neighbor. God, everybody is our neighbor. It's Father God, Lord, and how can we expect the world to love? If the church don't love. Amen. God I pray that we start loving. As you would have us to love. Father God Lord, we pray. God for that man, woman, boy, girl. Who may not know you. God that they come to know you. Because God we know it's getting late in the evening. And the sun is truly going down. Then God Lord we pray God. That you continue blessing us and keeping us. God heal those who need a healing. God, stop by the hospital nursing home right now. Somebody's calling on your name, Father, because they know, God, at the name of Jesus, something has to happen. Father God, Lord, we pray you continue blessing this church as only you can. And we'll continue lifting up our eyes to the hills from which cometh our help because we know all our help comes from you. Thank you, Father. God, we love you because you first loved us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Again, amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. I, I failed to mention, amen, Reverend Hill called me yesterday and on the second Saturday, amen, they're going to have a union of churches, amen, on the second Saturday. He didn't tell me the location. I'm going to have to call him back, but uh, they're going to have a union of churches, amen, amen, amen. And, 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 and we'll definitely let y'all know next Sunday, amen, what time, what the place at, amen, and who's the speaker going to be, amen, because he was trying to put it on me, but I told him I won't be there. Amen. We'll be at a softball tournament. Amen. But uh, I'll definitely let y'all know. Amen. 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 Give Minister Boot a, a, boot, a hand clap as he comes and dismisses. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, yes, we thank you for all things. And right now we're saying thank you for your word. Mm -hmm. May it accomplish what you sent it out to do. 
put that word in our heart yeah. that we would not only be a hearer but a doer of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we are trusting you mm -hmm. and not leaning to our own understanding. Yeah. Not trusting in houses and cars and materialistic yeah. things that go vanish away. Mm -hmm. But things that is eternal in heaven. Yes, sir. We ask and pray, Heavenly Father, that you bless all churches throughout the land and country. Yes, Lord, strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're torn down. We need your guidance in everything. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling mm -hmm. and to present us faultless before his throne with majesty, power, grace, and dominion. Now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. And the church said, Amen. Amen. face the